Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily if you are new and I hope you're all having a beautiful day so far. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a fall clean DIY decorate as well as a fall haul and a little bit of bake with me in today's video. I just love the way honestly this video came together and I hope that you will enjoy this style of video. I wanted to tell you as well that today's video is in collaboration with my sweet friend Lindsay from this Lindsay's Life and Style. I love her. We talk on a daily basis and she is just so uplifting you guys will absolutely love her she shares lots of cleaning organization mom and lifestyle videos on her channel and today she's going to be doing a fall clean DIY and decorate as well so make sure to head on over to her channel when you're done watching mine and please tell her that I sent you you guys will really enjoy her she is so bubbly and just a ball of joy and I am just so thankful to have her in my life so with that said I hope you guys enjoy both of our videos and I'm just gonna finish up baking some chocolate chip cookies with the boys here and I'll share with you my fall haul we'll do the fall DIY and decorate a little bit then we're gonna clean up this hot mess and I just hope that you enjoy this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new that way I can continue to inspire and motivate you here through different DIYs decorating lifestyle and mommy videos So I went to Costco this weekend and they gave us a coupon that if you spent $100 on certain products that you would get a $25 gift card. So I just wanted to let you know that that is going on. If you have a local Costco in your area, check that out because that is a great way to save yourself a little bit extra money because we all know when we go into Costco, I don't know about you, but my bill is always in the $100 range. It is never below it. So. That store, I tell you, it just gets me every time. But I'm almost done in cleaning up the kitchen. Well, I'm gonna load up the dishes now and then I'm gonna clean off the rest of the counter, show you a couple things that I found at Dollar Tree as well, and then we're gonna start on the DIY. I'm so excited to share it with you guys. I love the way it turned out. Um, it turned out a little bit different than I was um, actually originally planning, but you know, that's just how things go. And if you are new to my channel coming over from Lindsay's or just in general, I just want to welcome you. Um, I share lots of DIY decorating and lifestyle mommy videos here on my channel. I love doing room makeovers and building furniture and just really empowering you and showing you different ways that you can make projects, save money, and just have fun with it. I always want my channel just to be an inspiration and a motivation motivation for you to know that if you if there's something that you want to accomplish you can do it it may not turn out right the first time but if you work at it it'll continue to get better and better and that's something I get asked a lot is where have I learned how to do a lot of this stuff it's just from practice my parents showed me how to do a lot of this stuff and so I just learned and that's something that I want to instill in my boys to try anything and that's why even just with baking I have them help me so hopefully this will just be an encouragement to you that I am like you I'm trying to tackle it all trying to accomplish personal goals of mine but also take care of my household and raise my boys I'm also homeschooling them so I've got a lot on my plate just like you do and I just hope that this will just motivate you and inspire you and empower you to get whatever Whatever you need done, done on your list, turn up that music and get it done. Um, I really love the community of women that are on here and men. They're here to encourage and just share with you guys different ways that we are accomplishing it all and I hope that you enjoy it. So I had to go to Dollar Tree and get a couple supplies. I got glue sticks, some stick-on pumpkins, glow-in-the-dark um, sticks for the boys, and then these wooden um, owls, leaves, and pumpkins, and then some coloring things that they could paint. I like Dollar Tree for a lot of craft supplies because it's really inexpensive and they have really good crafts for kids as well, let alone stuff for me to use to make beautiful items for my home on a budget.
did pick up these two colors at Walmart. This one is called Merlot by Waverly, and I just think it's a really pretty, like, dark plum color. And then this one is Magenta, and this is by Enamels. And I'm using both of these colors, like, on the mantle and stuff, so I'm not sure if I'm going to paint some of my pumpkins for the dining room table this or not. You guys will just have to wait and see for the fall home tour. That'll be up on Thursday. Um, I'm going to save the dining room for that, but I will show you guys a lot of other things that I picked up at Target really fast, and then we're going to get into making the DIY. All right, sorry, I had to put the dog outside. Her little claws kept tickling everywhere, and I thought that would be really annoying to listen to on camera. This is supposed to be this way, but I found my new spot to film in. I think it's so cute. Okay, I wanted to show you everything I got from Target as well as Walmart, because um, that's going to be a lot of stuff I'm using for the DIY. Now, did I need any of this stuff for, from Target? No, I did not. But, you know, I just couldn't really pass it up. My Target finally put stuff out, and I just thought, I'm getting some. Even if I don't use it this year, I probably will next year. But this stuff is probably going to make its way into the decor. I got these pumpkins, all, both a dollar. I like this navy color, actually, with the coloring I'm going with. So those might be featured in. You're going to have to wait and see. I love how cute these are. So I picked up like two of each because that's pretty much what I found. They also had a pure white one versus the cream ones they had last year. And honestly, I like, they just put some paint on these. I really like the way they look. I think they look, I don't know, just, they just look better versus just having just the plain brown. The only one I splurged on was this one. It was $3 and I just could not help myself. I think it's so cute. And they had a taller one, but for some reason I just got this one. I was trying to limit myself. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. Um, I picked up these. I don't know if you can see them. They're a nice plum color. You guys know I'm using plum. They're a dollar a piece. Nothing super special, but I thought I could add them maybe to the dining room. Um, tablescape. I'm not showing that in this video, like I said. Uh, so you gotta have some things as a surprise, you know. But, is that, oh, I got these from um, Target. Oh, now these, no. okay, quiet. These were $3 a piece. A little expensive, but I like, again, the plum color that they are. And then I got these. They're a little bit lighter, more of a darker lavender. $3 a piece. I'm not sure if I'm going to use these or not, so if I don't, they'll go back. The other thing I found, which I just thought was so pretty, was actually in the hearth and hand area. And they are these sprigs. $5 a piece, so not that bad, actually. Um, but they're so soft, and they're very subtle in that orange color and stuff. And I just think they're really pretty. So I got those. And then from Walmart, I picked up more of the magenta uh, peonies that they had for 97 cents. I got this um, bunch of sunflowers with the white ones, which I think is really pretty for $5, um, which is a really good price. And then, and then the last thing I got for the DIYs was the eucalyptus from Walmart. Look how pretty this is. Good quality for three bucks a stem. Very nice. This stem at Hobby Lobby is 10 bucks. I love Hobby Lobby, but I mean, I gotta make my money go a little further. So um, obviously shop it when it's on sale, but these for three bucks were such a good price. They're actually the same price I paid from, a f I got four at TJ Maxx for $12 that I showed you for the fall entryway. So if you haven't seen that video, check it out. But I got four for 12 bucks and I was like, that's such a good deal. So I'm really happy about that. So enough of that stuff. Um, Oh, I did pick up a table runner. I'm not going to show it to you because I think I'm going to return it. It's just a little too big and it has red in it and I'm not doing any red this year. So I was like, mm, that's just axed. But now I'm going to get all the supplies together to show you the DIY I'm going to make for the pantry door and hopefully you guys can recreate it as well. And again, you can use whatever color florals you want. You can use similar, whatever. Just I want to show you the beautiful DIY I have planned for this. Hopefully it will turn out and then we'll start decorating the kitchen. Since this is going on an interior door, I didn't want to scratch my paint, so I'm just taking some scrap material that I have, just cutting it down, and then I'm just going to glue it around the back of the wreath. 
And don't worry, it doesn't show when it's all done, I promise. Um, but that's just a little trick that you can do if you have some felt or something like that, soft material. That way it doesn't scratch whatever surface you're putting it on. Especially if you're outside and you have a painted door or something, it could really scratch your surface if it's windy. So just keep that in mind. Hopefully this is a little helpful tip for you. But I just glued that down, nothing too fancy here. You could see that I'm just trimming off the excess on it. But I like these wreaths. You can pick them up at Walmart for a couple bucks. Hobby Lobby has them usually for four or five bucks. So I'm just going to intertwine the eucalyptus in here and I actually needed three of them but you know I had two so we're going to make it work. I pulled off all of the stems, um, sorry, off all the floral picks off of the stems that way I could reuse the stems later on and I'm intermixing these. The pink hydrangeas actually came from the at home store and then this week came from Hobby Lobby last year and it's like a dollar fifty when it's on sale so not too bad but I love how real it is and I love the coloring of it so I just decided to alternate between um, the uh, sunflower, the hydrangea, and then add a wheat pick in there. And then you'll see I'll add in a little bit of greenery at the end, just around the edges that don't have the eucalyptus. And in the end, it looks really good. I actually changed it. You're going to see what it looks like in this video, but for the fall home tour, I changed it. So something to look forward to on that. Um, I constantly change my mind and that's just fun. I think it's just the creative side of me that's like, oh, let's try this and let's try that. But this is a super easy wreath to make yourself. I actually added in a couple cotton stems in here. I was originally going to add the magenta flowers that you see there in the right corner, but they didn't make it in. I might, well, you'll just have to see what's going to happen. <laughs> um, I took that paint that I showed you earlier and I'm just going to um, paint over a couple pumpkins that I got from the Dollar Tree a couple years ago. They have these all the time though. And if there's a pumpkin that you have and you're changing your color scheme, the simplest way to reuse it is just to spray it or paint it by hand. It's completely up to you. I just couldn't find magenta or sorry plum color in spray paint so I tried doing this on a ceramic pumpkin the other one was a plastic one the ceramic didn't take the color so well I think this one would have been better off sprayed but hey we decided to attempt it anyways we missed the final call the writings on the wall we fell Now it's time to decorate one of the corners in the kitchen. The cake plate is from Target. This is from Marshalls. The pumpkin is from Dollar Tree. And then the other one is the one I painted that plum color. So really inexpensive to decorate the corner. And then I got this sign from Target last year. I sprayed it black with a hint of gold over it just so it shimmered just a teeny bit. 
and then I have this towel that is from um, Home Goods, I think, last year, or TJ Maxx. I don't remember, but I just love the pumpkin on it and that coloring. The wreath is, this is how it has turned out, as you guys saw, and I'm just going to hang it there. I think it's a really good height. We're pretty tall in our family, so it's hung up a little bit taller, I think, than most people maybe prefer, but I wanted it to be out of the way so the kids didn't uh, knock it over every time they open up the door. But now I'm going to put away the rest of the groceries because I went to Costco the day before and actually the sweats I'm wearing are from Costco and they're so comfortable and they were only $8 and I just love them. I picked up three because they were on sale. But now I'm going to be cleaning up the dining room table which has a lot of the florals that I got from Target and Walmart on there. So I'm still toying with a few different ideas for the fall tablescape. Because this is the only table in our house to eat at, I have to try to keep it somewhat simple because we eat at it every day. But I would love to know what type of fall tablescape you're planning on doing. If you do one, let me know. Or if you have a designated dining room that you just leave fully decorated. Oh, I'm so jealous. But let me know um, what you like to do for that. So when I first saw this, I thought, oh my goodness, what did I rub on there? What did the kids put on there? What happened? No, it's the dog's fur. Her going in and out to get crumbs underneath the table leaves her fur everywhere. The joys of having light furniture. I wouldn't change it, but oh my goodness, it's just everywhere. Cannot believe that what we had is now gone and I don't know how to be alone. Feels like my heart is cut in half. What I want is to get back where I belong. Cause we don't talk that much yet.
I'm gonna finish up putting the last bit of dishes away and the kitchen is clean. Oh, it looks so nice compared to what we started with. I tell you, it is so easy for the kitchen to become such a hot mess in this house. It's like our drop zone and I'm just, I'm working on taking care of that and not collecting so much crap, <laughs> even though I just did a fall haul. You know what I'm saying? But I would love to know if you guys are new to my channel and what you guys are planning on decorating your homes for, for the fall, like the colors and what you like to do. For me, I am decided to do a little bit more on the neutral, but also add dark pops of color in there. So not normal, traditional like I did last year. Oh my goodness, this house is way different than our last house. If you happen to be new, we just moved a couple months ago so we're still settling in here I haven't decorated every room yet it's taking me time and I'm enjoying the process but I have lots more rooms to decorate and make over so make sure you are subscribed you have that notification bell hit that way you never miss an upload because I absolutely love to inspire and motivate here on my channel Thursday is going to be the fall home tour and I cannot wait to share that with you guys oh I'm so excited and then next week is probably going to be a room makeover so make sure you are subscribed and I don't want you guys to miss out on that I hope you have enjoyed today's video and make sure to please go over to Lindsay's channel show her some love subscribe and like her video and tell her that I sent you you will fall in love with her she is just a ball of fire and I love her so much I'm so happy she's in my life so with that said, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, check the description box and the iCards for more videos to inspire and motivate you, and I hope you all just have an amazing day. Thank you again so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.